Hey everyone, welcome to this video, HK here. Today, we're gonna do quick introduction to vertex maps and how to use it in conjunction with fields. This is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to make stuff reveal or how to make it disappear or how to reveal shaders. You have two different materials and you wanna reveal one below the other. So let's do that. Hey everyone, so we are in C4D and we're gonna bring in sphere. This is gonna be the object we're gonna work with and we just drag it slightly up. I've created a little empty scene for us already. What we're gonna do, we're gonna click on our sphere and we're gonna increase the segments. It's just so we have more polygons on that sphere. Straight after that, we can turn it into mesh. Highlighting the sphere, pressing C, turning it into mesh and then go into polygon mode so you have a mode here, go into polygons, and you can now select polygons, but you can also press Ctrl A to highlight all of them. With that done, we can press Shift plus C and go to vertex weight, or just type set vertex weight. And this, uh, this uh, pop-up will show, you just press OK and now the, the ball goes red, uh, which means zero, and yellow means one. And I'm gonna tell you why, but first, we have a newly created vertex stack. I'm gonna click on the vertex stack, go to the basic tab, and click on the use fields. When you click on use fields, freeze layer will appear here, and you can then create a spherical field, or any other field you like. And this spherical field will actually control, you know, our weight. So we can then increase the size of it. So just press T, scale it. And the reason why I wanted more polygons on our sphere is because it creates for better gradients uh, on our weight, um, vertex weight. So this way we have more definition. So let's now go into the material. Go to Redshift Materials Material, apply it to the sphere, and then double click the material tag, go to Edit Shader Graph, and we have material created, the classic standard material for us, and I'm gonna change it to aluminium. So this is gonna be our base, base material. I'm gonna unplug it from our output node for now, so just right click and remove wires and bring in Material Blender. And I'll plug it into, um, I'll plug it our Material Aluminium into Base, Material Base Color, and plug it back into our surface. So we have uh, now Aluminium through our Blender, and I'm gonna bring another Material, Material Node, and change the preset to Gold, and plug it as a, uh, material layer one layer color one and now i have the gold above it and the way i'm going to reveal it normally we would reveal that with noise but i'm just going to bring in c40 vertex map node you know if you highlight that vertex map node you can just drag in our newly created vertex stack straight in it now with that done i'm just going to drag this vertex map let it be our, so it's going to be our blend color one in our material blender. So layer one, blend color one. And now you can see it's already affecting our sphere. So if I'm just going to drag it, our shader is being revealed by field, which I think it's super cool. But what's even cooler that you can then combine it because the fields are a fantastic um, tool for animation as well and you can uh, really just create maybe a, a highlight the sphere go to our defer deformers and bring in displacer and go to our shading tab and bring in noise and shade it noise and now I, I can just go to our fields tab on the displacer and drag in the spherical field that we've created for our vertex tab and now affecting with one field, I'm affect affecting the shader as well as the displacing of that part of the material. So you can imagine uh, with this, you can do pretty crazy stuff 
if you let your imagination run wild, and I know you can. So I want to show you one more thing, which I find pretty cool. Like back in Photoshop, um, you know, you would, um, you know, turn opacity on everything. You would just go like this 50, this 80. You would play with it. You would blend it. And I didn't know how to do it in Cinema 4D for a long time. And the vertex map make it really easy because you can just go and you can plug the vertex map straight into overall opacity color onto that material. And now with the same field, I can control the reveal of the material, right? Which I find super, super cool. You know, you can use this for many animations. Uh, you can just uh, animate stuff with fields and do all the reveal animation, uh, logo reveals and stuff like that. Uh, I don't have to tell you what you have to do. You know what you need to do. But I hope you enjoy your weekend. Hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial and see you in the next one.